Hi, and welcome back to our channel, Blessed Trimability. Today, we're going to make, as I promised in the unboxing of my THM items, that we're going to make the maple peach oatmeal from, and you can get this right on their website. When you go to um, get the, the creamy, dreamy plant protein, it, the, the recipe is listed right there. And what I'm doing, as you've probably seen before, I'm going to batch cook because I want to... Um, I'm going to cook once and eat several times from it because it's so much easier that way. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to, <clears throat> I'm going to quadruple the recipe in here. So I've already put in my pot, I've already put um, about seven cups of water. And I'm um, going to mix the rest of the ingredients in. And then you just bring it to a boil. It's very quick recipe. So we've, I'm adding a cup of rolled oats. And it calls and I, a cup of the quick oats. Then in here I have um, psyllium husks, stevia, and um, pinch mineral salt. That's it. I'm trying to make sure I. You really want to make sure when you put those psyllium husks in that you stir it to get a. Um, dissolve so it won't clump on you and then I'm going to put the, the plant protein in about a half a cup make sure you get this all stirred around so I don't want to waste any of that and I had said before in my unboxing that this tastes like the peaches and cream oatmeal that you get in the instant packets Ooh. and how I do that is I use some of this. I use the um, Laura Laura Ann Oils Peach Flavor, but I don't want to put that in until it's it's cooked because I think sometimes heat might destroy some of that um, the flavor. Because I was always taught like if you put your vanilla in while the heat is on there that it might destroy that. And so I'll bring you right back up here a little bit. So we're going to stir this until it comes to a quick boil, and then it just says to um, Turn, turn down the heat and let it simmer for a few minutes. So how quick is that? You know, and, and then I, now I understand that it's not gonna taste just exactly like the peaches and cream oatmeal, but it is a reasonable facsimile. I know one time, I believe it was Brianna Thomas said in her, um, one of her blogs that she knows the radishes really don't taste like potatoes. But I think this is very close to that. And also in the recipe, they tell you um, when you put it in your bowl that you can put a um, half a cup on these little cups of peaches on there. They, I believe they say to drain it in natural juice or stevia sweetened and partially drained. So you can do that and, and that's refreshing too. But if you just have the oil, then it is, um, it is very peachy just with the oil, not only peach tasting, but taste peachy too, very good tasting. But then you, know, you think about it, what other kind of um, oatmeal would you like to make with this? You know, there's, there's peach flavoring, you know, maybe leave in the comments down below some type of other flavoring that you could that you could put in there. Um, Cause we're in the, you know, with Madoka's flavorings, you know, they don't have, um, they're not counted as anything. I mean, you could think of cherry or in it. This, the recipe calls for maple. I don't want to put that in there. I just want mine peachy. And so I just used the peach in there. And it also, the recipe says you can have one and a half um, Brazil nuts chopped up on it to stay into the E mode. I don't do that either. I find it just fine with this. And one thing I do find is when you make this, it is so filling that it will keep you full for quite some time. So see, just in the time that we've been talking, this is pretty, this is pretty much done. And um, the psyllium husks are very, very good source of fiber. And the sweetener is stevia. And in this whole pot, I think I used eight donks. I think it's probably not that donks of stevia. And it is very sweet and very good. And stevia is one of the most economical, economical um, sweeteners that we have to use. And so it, you know, it's really good. And so, yeah, this is kind of bubbling around. It's just about done. And what I do is I'm going to put it in four of these containers. And 
then that will be, I'll have, I'll divide it out equally and I'll have breakfast for four days and I, I think it will last about a week or so and I, I don't always want to eat the same thing every single day, so, but I probably will have it for a couple of days. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in this, since it, there's four of it, four, I'm going to put, I'm just going to be, it's probably about a teaspoon of this in there and then just stir this around because I've already turned the heat off. It smells so peachy. I mean, it just smells just like you're having a peach. And then it want, if you get to put these peaches on it too, it's wonderful. And you feel like you're having a real treat. You know, because sometimes, you know, oatmeal can be very boring, but not like this. I mean, you know, you could maybe pears. Could you put pears on it too? I'm just thinking that, or the, like the little fruit cups, as long as you're careful what's in them. Okay. so. This is it. This is the finished product right here. And just remember that I think the secret ingredient is putting this flavoring in it. You know, and it's it's very filling, very nutritious, and I, and it's much more economical than those little packets. I do want to show you something that I got the other day. We were shopping and we were at a local heart hardware store and they do carry some types of foods and I've this is five pounds of the um quick oats dollar ninety nine so I purchased three of them so I would be ahead because sometimes for the dogs we make oatmeal put on their food too but and I understand that we just don't want to eat quick oats just by themselves but when the new cookbook has a lot of times you will you will you put the um quick and the rolled oats together so it won't have such a effect on glycemic effect on your blood sugar so I hope that you will try this peachy, dreamy. And if you like maple, put the maple. If you like Brazil nuts, put the Brazil nuts. But you can find this recipe and um, right on. And if I, I, I will try to link it. I don't know if I can link to their website where you purchase the creamy, dreamy plant protein. But I'll tell you, this, this is a game changer for me because I it's um, dairy-free and vegan as well. And a lot of times I like to stay away from dairy if I can because I, I think it's and some people it can have an inflammatory response so try to get some of this and this is a great way to use it i've seen some other recipes but i really want to save it for my oatmeal because i love this so i hope you try this and i hope you enjoy um if you're not a subscriber to our channel we would love for you to subscribe and um, become a part of our thm community and you know you don't have to be just thm you can we learn about god's word on here and, you know, we just want to be a blessing to everybody. And we want to, um, you know, if you have any prayer requests, also you can leave those in the comments as well. We can, all of us can pray for you. So I hope you enjoy. Let us know how you like it.